Harry! You're literally supposed to go to your pen before you go to bed. Hey, it's about to start raining. You might want to go in your little pen. Since there's bugs crawling all over me. Oh, ah! Over there. What'd you say to me, Henry? Hey! Fingers not food. Welcome back to another Stephen Casey video. Today, as you guys saw with the thumbnail and title, I realized I don't have a golf cart, AKA I don't have anything to drive around at the river to get me up and down the hills. And I've been walking it and the truck, you can't send it off the hill. So today on the agenda is finding a golf cart, which I have some ideas. I mean, I have four wheelers here, but it's a one seater. You can't take anybody if you want to. More or less what I need is kind of a all-terrain slash something that can fit your golf clubs and a human or two if you want to kind of like an actual golf cart so today we're just going to kind of go look i'm going to look on craigslist and then see if we can't find anything uh, there is one up there that is not being used that i could probably buy if i wanted to but that's if i can't find anything online i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and just kind of go on a search hit the subscribe button if you're new we're on the road to 200,000 subscribers hopefully by the end of the summer if everybody that watches this video hits the subscribe button then i would probably be there Anyway, slap a like on the video, you know, it helps the algorithm, helps me, helps me be able to do what I'm doing right now. Literally, it helps me do everything. But yeah, I had to start off with a bomb. Another thing I did recently, here recently, literally today, I officially switched up my grip once again. I usually, the past couple months, I've been playing pretty much a baseball grip. As you guys can see, no overlap, no nothing. Just grab the club like this. And I went back to the interlock, which it's been feeling pretty good. helping me control the club a little bit better. I am now able to hit absolute bombs. That was a slice. We're not gonna talk about it. Yeah, we're gonna go take a peek on the intro, intro net, and then we're gonna probably go check that one out. That one seems to work pretty good, and I would not be mad if I bought it. It's like a 2017. Yep, say hello to the people. Every time in your little toes. Look at, look at these. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Hey. It's starting to light the camera and it's calmed down a little bit. I gave it enough graham crackers to be a good cast member. Huh? These are starting to tame down as well. Anyways, that's the goats. Let's go to Craigslist, see if we can't find anything. That's basically it on the agenda today is finding a, a golf cart that'll actually work. I've switched out my golf grips. Pretty much it. Been hitting bombs recently too. Anyways, let's get to it. I'm gonna talk to my grandpa, I'll see if we can even get it started. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what a magical thing. He showed up right now, literally. But uh, I see if we can get anything started. But uh, I, I definitely think it's something I can just beat the heck out of, drive it off a cliff. I don't know. I don't want anything like super expensive, but something I can just beat up, take it up and down the hills. If it, if it breaks, it breaks. See if we can't get this running. But I remember my uncle first got this. It was like 2017, so it was a couple years old. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. See how much it costs. Kind of run through it. Leave in the comments what what's a good forerunner because I have no idea. We gotta see if we can even start it. See what happens. All right, this is it. How the heck did? Does... No, I'm just not strong. All right, that's it. We'll see what we can do. We'll have to put it on a trailer and take it up to Brian. He's a mechanic. He literally lives right up there. See what he can do. See if we can get it rolling. But I'd kind of be perfect. Something I can just beat up and down. I also can drive it from here to the thing. It just it just really depends. And I also got to get a price on it. That would that would help me out a lot. So I don't have to freaking keep walking up and down those massive hills. Just throw it in the in that barn. And yeah, this some buck needs retired. That's all I'm gonna say. It still runs like a like like a champ. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I think we're gonna go hit some golf shots to go check out the river. Also, yeah. Oh, I need a thumbnail. Oh, Bradley, see, I'm not dumb. I'm just not smart. <laughs> Anyways, I'm picking up the golf balls. Here's what I always aim at from the house down there. I aim off that hill. Try to hit the barn. Do I hit it much? No, but I'm surprised I have not broken a window. I actually have, I'll show you that. I'm not too bad. I, I mean, I hit my target most of the time. This is what you gotta do. I've literally, I probably have bought over 2,000 golf balls. Somehow I only have like 100 left. I know this is going to the world. A lot of people watch my videos. I actually hit a stinger right, <laughs> right into this. <laughs> And broke, broke the window. No one, no one knows about that one. No one, no one needs to know, right? Golden. 
This actually used to be a milk barn. Believe it or not, that's probably not good. I wonder why the water bills are so high. Yeah, this used to be a milk barn. Anyway, I don't know where this video is going once again. I just kind of got sidetracked. It's where the milk would go. I used to drink straight from the, not straight from the cow. <laughs> I used to drink straight from here, which is straight from the cow, basically. Thank you. Anyways, let's get back. I'm gonna, we're gonna probably go run down the river. What I need to do, I need a price on that, take that, get it on the trailer and take it up to Brian's, have him see if we can't get it started, and then I need to take it from Brian's to the river put in the garage. Uh, why did I just put it in reverse? I'm about to drive into a tractor. Talk to Uncle Ray. It costs $400 to get fixed. It needs a new carburetor and a new battery. Who else knows what's wrong with it? So we're just gonna have to deal with it as the time goes. Gotta talk to Rua, okay, my grandpa. Let's see what we can do, but that would be a sick golf cart. I'm not even, I remember when it used to run and it was fire, but I wish just you could get on Craigslist and just find a golf cart. That would make my life so, not a golf cart, something to buy without going, having to go to Honda. I don't want a brand new one. I want to be able to beat it up, not destroy it, but I want to be able to use it. I don't want to have, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? If it breaks, it breaks. That's kind of the vibe I want. I'm trying to grind my game out while I'm down here. I say it in every video, but I'm going to try to talk you through what the transition that I did in the past couple days. So to that sand block is where I've been going recently because I can actually find the golf balls. What I've done, I'm now playing an interlock and also I moved the ball back to more towards the center of my feet because with just the baseball swing, for some reason I had to play to my toe to play a fade. I've been able to control the club just a little bit more and the adjustment has been slow, but we're getting there just like that salt block. About 110 yards. See? I literally, I'm literally getting dialed. See, it's, it's just a dead straight ball flight, which is rolled a little more. So interlock Steve is coming back. all over that salt block. Get all over the salt block, right? That is left, right. Now, those are dark. Even when Steven is down at the farm, he is committed to becoming the best golfer he can be. To compete with the rest of the Good Good Squad, it takes a special few, and Steven knows that he has it in him. That's a mile long. Anyways, here's a little bit longer of an iron. I'm gonna hit two shots. This is a P wedge. The barn is 140. You know, the vibes, interlock. I also have seen that I get a little more distance. Anyways, that's kind of, just wanted to run you through. Grip change, not a swing change, a grip change, but it, in, inside of the grip change, it actually changed my swing and it changed how much, how I can control it. I can control my fade better and I can start to hit a draw. Like, that's what I stock yardage. Look at this dumb buck. That's my stock yardage anyways. Look, look at Molly, she literally just waits. She's like, mm, Graham Crackers. <laughs> Graham Crackers. Do you speak English? No, probably not. All right. All right, we've made a stop at my uncle's house, Uncle Donnie. Um, we're just kind of watching the hummingbirds. I can have this hat on. Man, that board's sharp. Looking good. <laughs> I don't know, this is my Uncle Donnie. He's been around since I was just a kid. You were still in the womb. <laughs> Literally, I was, but I've been running around here. I don't know, since I was a kid. This is kind of just a look. At, it, I've turned this video into kind of a vlog. This is all my family down here. <laughs> Still the darkest. Yeah. Have you heard anything about the oh, golf course? I, I'll tell you what. I've been having so much trouble yeah. with things. And sometimes my eye works right. And sometimes it don't. <laughs> yeah. You know. You heard of driving uh, Miss Daisy? Yeah. Well, 
Cassie's driving Paul Donald. Oh, really? Now nah, that's it. The time has changed, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. This is just a look into the, my family down here. I know a lot of people had questions about, once again, <laughs> how I come down to Missouri, and it's just so much different than. All right, I'm gonna wrap up. It's it's nighttime. We got back really late after I've been talking to Mel for pretty much a couple hours, just kind of going through my plans, his plans. But uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap the video up here in a minute. But it's supposed to start storming here in like an hour or so. I want to see where my goats go. Right, wait, you're not away yet? What? Harry, you're literally supposed to go to your pen before you go to bed. Hey. It's about to start raining. You might want to go in your little pen. Oh, ah, over there. Would you say to me, Henry? Would you say to me, Henry? Would you say to me, Henry? <laughs> hey, fingers not food. Since there's bugs crawling all over me, go to your pen before it starts raining. Anyways, that's probably gonna wrap up today's video. We got the gator. We got everything we needed. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I literally knew that. Was <laughs> I remember that puddle. But anyways, anyways, we will catch you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Get ready for tomorrow. Filming every bit every day. I'm kind of vlogging every day. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.